Good morning. You know, over the week, uh, for the last couple of weeks, I have been thinking more about forgiveness and unforgiveness and natural and supernatural. And I was reading in the book of Acts where Philip was uh, telling the gospel to an Ethiopian uh, eunuch. He took him down into the water and baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, um, the scripture says in um, Acts 8, um, verses 39 and 40, uh, when they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away and the eunuch did not see him again. He went on his way rejoicing. Philip, however, appeared at Azotus and traveled about preaching the gospel in all the towns until he reached Caesarea. So back in the Old Testament, Elijah had the same thing happen to him. Elijah was sort of in this on again, off again battle um, with King Ahab. And King Ahab was looking for him. And Elijah comes up to this guy and he says, dude, go tell King Ahab you found me. And the guy says in 1 Kings 18, he's like, are you kidding me? Are you trying to get me killed? He said, I don't know where the spirit of the Lord is gonna carry you when I leave you. If I go and tell Ahab and he doesn't find you, he'll kill me. Super natural, right? Not natural, not a fable, not a story. Truth, God's word is truth, but supernatural, right? Do we know this God of the supernatural, this God who took Elijah again up in a whirlwind? Like he did not lay down and die. The Lord took him angels, chariots of fire. The Lord took him in a whirlwind. Enoch, he walked with God, he walked with God, he walked with God, he walked with God, and he was no more. He didn't die like those before him and those after him. He, he was no more. It's supernatural. It's not natural. We live in this natural world with natural stuff happening all the time around us. All the time. Some of it steeped in relentless evil. And we have to choose to turn our eyes to Jesus to see relentless good. But today, as we go into this week, I want to encourage you to turn your eyes to Jesus, to walk in the supernatural and not the natural. Look around you today, as you go into this week, look around you and as you ask, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, God. Would you look around you with expectation to see the supernatural? Would you ask him for eyes to see and a heart to believe? Would you ask him for ears to hear what the spirit is saying? How many times have you closed your eyes in prayer or closed your eyes in sleep and the spirit takes you 
into a scene or a setting or into heavenly places. This is supernatural. Have you ever had an experience that is beyond human? My husband tells him a story when he was very badly injured in a car accident years and years ago where an obvious angel came to, to walk with him. Supernatural. Not natural. Today, as you are in your garden, in your office, in your car, as you are at the doctor's office, at your appointments, as you're picking flowers or watching the rain clouds come in, will you look for the incredible, supernatural that God has given us that he will give us this day. I don't think that Philip expected to be carried away by the spirit physically and dropped into another place. But he was. I don't know that Daniel expected to see visions and dream dreams, but he did. And the book of Joel tells us that we will. Would you open up your heart and your mind to God being God today? And would you recognize the angel that he sent to walk beside you? Would you recognize the supernatural ways that he is carrying us from this place into heavenly places. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven today, God. And would you delight yourself in the Lord? Would you thank him for it? Would you be blown away by it, by him? Because when we begin to recognize the supernatural that is around us from God for us, the angels that he sends to us for a season, the people that he puts in our path supernaturally who need what we have, he will do it again and again and more and more and as we talk about it, he will do it for others around us. I was in a car accident when I was uh, 18 years old. I may have been just 19 and um, God sent an angel to save my life that day. I knew it then. And there was no other explanation, but the supernatural came from heaven to rescue me that day. What is your story? How can you give glory to God for bringing the supernatural to meet with the natural today? Would you look for it? It's going to be a great day.